next award we're giving is an in-game MVP. So who our judges decide is the top MVP in this final hour will get themselves an additional $5,000 just for themselves. So uh, that can be deemed by just an amazing player and just many other things. I mean, what are we expecting to see here? What would be a really um, good example of this? So for me, I want to see some erratic gameplay. I want to see some guy running about on like 2 HP Dalrock bombing people, taking people's heads off, gets like the triple kill, then gets away. That's what I want to see, a solo player just going mad and causing havoc. That, that would be quite audacious during yeah. a $20,000 tournament. To be Derek Bowman. Yeah, literally. I, I mean, <laughs> risky strategy. I don't, I don't but think it we're going to see off. anything like that. I want to see, like, what I'm looking for is going to be a solo individual that's taking on one or more people at a time, you know, maybe outplaying a couple of people. Mm -hmm. If he gets a kill, gets two kills and gets away, that's going to be incredible. And hopefully, we will see some sort of performance like that. Definitely. That'd be great. All right, so I think without further ado, we're good to go on stage with Chris. And he actually has with him four players, one of them a former Dead Man winner. Take it away, Chris. Hey guys, we're joined here live by our four players on stage. From my right, we have You Never Learn. <laughs> yeah, come on. Woo! Alfie Rules. <laughs> we've got Graphist. Yeah. And we've got Mazar. So let's start from the right. You Never Learn, you're the only one on this stage who's ever won a Dead Man tournament. What was that feeling like? You know, Chris, it was just such an ecstatic feeling. Like, I couldn't believe when it happened that I had won 10K. And um, anybody out there who's also won the 10K can relate to that feeling. Like, they just shout and run around their house and go nuts. So, um, you know, it's just an amazing feeling. And I got a strong account this time. I always tell people, if you have, like, a top 50 account, you got a great shot to win. So I think I'm going to go pretty far today, too. Yeah, you know, one of the interesting things about you is that uh, people think that you only won the first tournament, you're kind of a one-trick pony, you've got nothing left in you, but consistently you make it into the top 50, what, three or four times now. So you've got a really, really good chance to at least make it there to the final area. I think we're gonna be, you're going to be one of the people that we're going to be watching the most, yeah. without a doubt. Yeah. Alfie, you have built up an incredible audience that loves to watch you play Dead Man. Take me through why they enjoy watching you and how this tournament's been going for you. So this tournament started, I took a different route. I wanted to rush Barrows and be like the one who had the most Barrows chests. And so my luck was incredible. I had like 26 items and 28 items in like 260 chests. And Underground Pass, I was like, at the final day, I was like at like 28 chests. And just for Dev and Mill tournaments, I go really hard. Like I'll like stream like 20 hours a day, you know, do Barrows. And I got my max set really early. So I gave Bodhi a max set for like PKing content, you know, to make RuneScape be higher on the list. And he ended up dying because he teleported into multi. And um, <laughs> <laughs> so I ended up being able to get another max set. And so I'm really pumped for the final. This is going to be really exciting. Well, best of luck to you. Um, Graphist, you are the third person on this, on this stage right now that is playing for Lit. We've only got one other guy who's playing for Rot. But playing for Lit, how are you feeling going into this? Are you guys sticking together or are you going off on your own? Um, I think I'm just going to go with the team and just hope for the best, basically. Um, Usually during the tournaments, last tournament I think I played solo and got wrecked by Bodhi, so that was good. So hope for the best, basically. Unfortunately, you've also been killed by another person on this stage, actually. Mazar, the only person that isn't in Lit, the representative of Rot here. How are you feeling going into this final hour, and what's it like being surrounded by the enemy? I'm feeling good about the final hour, and I really don't care how many Lit members are here, because they're still going to lose. Yeah. And um, I've been in Rot for two years now, and I know how they operate. They really are organized. They're gonna, they have the best chance of winning this tournament, and I'm not worried about it. Well, best of luck, guys. Um, before I head things back over to the couch, we have an announcement to make. There's not only the in-game MVP, there's also the on-stage MVP award to hand out. That is $5,000 going to whichever one of you on the stage lasts the longest. This is something. This was something that was very difficult to keep a secret. These guys did not know this, so um, we'll see how your strategies change. But best of luck. Please don't die first. And uh, yeah, good luck, guys. We'll throw things back over to Shawnee on the couch. Wow, Fins have been stepped up just a little bit wow. more, hasn't it, really? <laughs> yeah, so, uh, I, was, I was so excited to see their facial reactions when they were told that, because it was so hard to keep it a secret yeah. this whole time. Yeah. So um, just before we get into it, um, I just want to use this as an opportunity to talk about um, the uh, uh, summer special membership that we have on offer. So you can get three months of membership for the price of two. It's a great time to do it, of course, if you want to get ready for the new season of Dead Man coming up. So feel free to jump on that if it interests you. But I think uh, if we can talk about that very quickly, uh, I think it's safe to say that most are not scared by Lit at wow. all. I think he's if, if very confident about this one. Yeah. I mean, yeah, go on, Ian. Talk a little yeah. bit about Rob. So, predictions-wise, for me, 
I'm saying Rot slash Mazar does have the best chance. Um, Maz, of course, being in the clanning scene and being a very high-level player in RuneScape for a long time now, he knows what he's doing. Not to say that the other three members don't, but um, my money's with him because he's mostly PvP kind of clanning-based. What yourself, Elliot? Yeah, I, I think Mazar undisputedly is the uh, the most experienced um, multi-player versus player member up on the stage today. Mm -hmm. uh, not to take away anything from the other members, but he is the most experienced. Um, I want to say that he will take the five thousand dollars for the uh, on stage MVP, but that depends, you know. He only recently rejoined yeah. Rot after a little bit of a falling out. So what we might see is maybe a little bit of backstabbing. I don't know. Who knows? Really? They, they <laughs> might keep him alive and say, uh, well, "Hey, yeah. give us some of that." Just, just right. onto that again. Obviously, we've got three lit members up there. Before they didn't know they were in chance to win five thousand dollars. They're in the same team. Yep. But if they see another person with low HP, are they going to go for the little bolt and try and headshot I'd, him quickly? I'd, I'd go for the quick DDS. Yeah, while he's on his right. roads, mate. <laughs> right. We're running out of time, so guys. We've got to hop into a, a quick look at how things have progressed from the beginning of Dead Man. Mm -hmm. So let's jump back to uh, season one, actually, where you never learn. One of our players on stage ended up taking it. Elliot, you played in this one. Yeah, how was this, it? this was one where I was spending like eighteen to twenty hours a day. You know, we had no idea what was coming in the final. This was completely new to Jagex, completely new to the players. Um, my team, Legends, and Ian was in that as well, but he was casting, so he wasn't in the final. But no. we were pushed out from uh, pushed out from Edgefield towards Falador Castle, and the Falador statue, rather. Yeah, so it was a really interesting location, obviously just north of Falador, where the Falador massacre happens. It's quite iconic. Um, during the ending, though, it's come a long way, the demo tournaments. We got a few things wrong the first few times. It was just a trial and error thing. Um, so here, the fog was a bit too powerful. A lot of the members ended up dying. And that's yeah. how you never learn one. He we was hiding in a bank, wasn't it? And right here, we had no idea how much they hit. You'll see no. three people die right at the end. I'm the one on the far left. <laughs> so close. So I died there at the same time as that guy, and that's Robert in the middle. Yeah. Unfortunately, we, we thought we'd won as a team, because me and Robert were on the same team. I was like, oh my god, We've won I'm, okay, I've come yeah. third, Robert's come first, and then you never learn being sneaky and Falador <laughs> back sipping on his bruise, and we were like, oh. Great. So for, the well. so for the second finale, we actually went to Barbarian Village, which is what we're using for today's final. Yeah. Hours. So, I mean, let's just go straight to that and see, obviously, where came out this one. Of course, it was uh, Codeine who took this one. Yeah, yeah. so we mentioned, Elliot, as you mentioned, uh, the beginning, we got a couple things wrong. We really wanted to improve on this. One of those things is kind of working differently with the fog here. And uh, what we wanted to encourage was a one-on-one -on -one battle. We didn't quite get that, but we did have one player of Rot remaining and on Codeine. They were the only two people standing. I think the Rot guy couldn't even see him. No, he was just slightly off the map, bit south, hiding away in the corner. Always that's changed this time round. We have an 11 by 11 area, which is right in the middle. There's nowhere to hide. You can't be sitting around the corner like Uncaved Codeine did, avoiding combat. Um, it's going to be just an absolute brawl at the end. Everyone going down, I think, and one person being left. Yeah, and one thing to note as well, in the center of Barbarian Village there, we see lots and lots of rocks. Alfie, um, <laughs> he has a ring of stone on him, so uh, th those rocks, unfortunately for Alfie, will be removed from so the final area. I mean, on the so plus he's going to be sticking out like a sore thumb if he tries on to. Uh, on the warm. plus side, he might not be the last person left, but he most certainly will be the last rock standing. Oh, come on. So. <laughs> we said don't say this joke. <laughs> I can't help myself. <laughs> uh, so you love that joke. So, so for the third finale, I believe uh, we went to TwitchCon. I believe we were in Anaka for this mm -hmm. one. So, I mean, take us through this one, guys. So Anakal, obviously a very prevalent area in clanning. Uh, lots of clans have been PKing here for 10 plus years now. Rot, obviously the most experienced in this area. It's like their hometown. They go out every single week and have been doing for years. Not to say other clans haven't as well, but I think Rot overall stuck out here. They ended up winning it with Lolololol taking home the, the $10,000 for his clan. And um, they destroyed this time round. Yeah. They, they took on each clan one at a time tore them apart, and they deserve the win, in my opinion. Do you know the winner here, um, Lol, 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 that is a great name. He actually <laughs> ended up putting on a nice little display of talent at the end. He was running around killing people. He wasn't just sat there no. sipping on his bruise. He was actually killing off everybody else. Yeah. Um, that was a really phenomenal win. Did you see the video footage that they released for that? That was that was awesome, man. Yeah. Uh, seeing that and like because they had all the audio, all the communication, everything, you could hear uh, how Rot were strategically yeah. planning everything, where they were moving, and how they were how they were doing that, and it was really really good. You get like a proper insight of how experienced these players are yeah. at this. So that was the first one that Rot ended up winning. Um, of course, they would actually go on to win season. What was it four next or five? Mm -hmm. What are we hopping oh. into here? Uh, this is Al Karid, which um, obviously being in a free-to-play multi-zone, we'd done Anakal, we'd done Barbarian Village, we'd done Falador. They guessed the area was going to be in Al Karid. They noticed a slight different graphical change on the gate, I believe, and they they situated themselves really perfectly here. 
The best offense was a strong defense. Is that the saying? That's not the saying, is it? The best anyway. defense is a good offense. Oh, well, they, well, they, they were defending the castle. And again, they took it home with like 40 people left at the end. Um, quite embarrassingly for everyone else, actually. They stayed inside and they took everyone out one at a time as the clans came in. And they just outlasted everyone. They played really, really well again. Yeah, they won this one so easily that they, in fact, scared every other team, I think, in Deadman yeah. to, to then join forces. I recall at the last event we did back in the UK, there was a guy in the, in the stands holding a sign saying, hashtag anybody but. <laughs> Right. Yeah, and that Rob, was literally the mentality of the whole community. Rob was so dominant at this point, and they played this really well because obviously you had to go through that little electric barrier there, yeah. so it was a one by one square. Um, Rob were already situated inside the castle at that point, and all the other teams were sort of standing outside, hoping that the amount of people that were going to be going in and fighting Rob would weaken Rob's defenses, take down their supplies. Unfortunately for them, however, when they came in, they just got absolutely Destroyed. decimated by Rob. The AOE effects like yeah. Barrage, Chin Chompers, which are going to be very key in this tournament final as well, they just obliterated to anyone that walked through that door. So the last Dead Man finale we had, I think, uh, and undisputedly was the best. We were yep. in Leicester. We had significant changes for this one, of course. We had the new fog. We had the new safety area, as we call it, and pr frankly produced probably the best visual we've seen so far in Dead Man and Anakar, which was just this absolute mayhem. Yeah, I think one of the most significant changes that we saw here was in previous iterations of the Dead Man mode finale, we had, like, you know, sometimes too powerful fog. Obviously, there was the meme with Alcarid Gate being the strongest thing. Uh, but this one, everyone knew they were going, so everyone could get there and fight yeah, inside and that. And back at Anacarl as well, like I said before, just such a great place to have clanning wars. And yeah, it turned out to be an amazing, amazing tournament. Well, that being said, guys, uh, it's now time to cue the, the countdown into the grand finale of the Summer Invitational final hour. Woo! Woo <laughs> Let's get it! for the count. You can not look back in again. And currently we have 850 plus survivors left. So looking here is lit. The last winner like of the tournament is now. Looks like there's been a bit of a massacre here. You can see the green dehyde there. Is that an earth battle star? Some yeah, sharks on the Yeah, away getting Maybe there's been a bit of clan there. And this is actually, I think, northwest of Barbarian Village. The final area looks like lit situating themselves very nicely there. To yeah. be, you know, doing the, the rot strategy, defending and uh, getting themselves set up nicely. Here in Edgeville, we have, who's this? That lit I saw and lit, yeah. DL. There's so I believe DL Divine Legions, I think they're called. Um, they've teamed up with Lit by the looks of things, and they're going to be alliancing together. Furiously as, circling yeah, the there's, bank. There's in a few uh, other alliances Edgeville. out there, actually, I believe, like Rot and Tartar. Yeah, they've teamed they, up they've for this. They've done we'll a, an alliance at least. For this. Um, so, yeah, looking around Edgeville right now. Clans just, you know, staying out of combat, trying to keep their supplies going. They don't want to get to combat too quickly because, then they, you know, they've got the chance of dying at the, at the first place. And also, yeah. you know, if you lose too many supplies, how are you going to make it into so the final? Something to note about Rot as well. They've always been a team that's been, like, quite prideful. They've always been on their own, right? Oh, yeah. And um, where we saw Rot was so dominant, especially in that Alcarid, uh, Alcarid Castle, Alcarid Palace. We saw like a necessary response from so many other teams that were like making alliances with each other uh, to form a team and take out Rot. This time, Rot have teamed up or allied with Tartar, so hopefully they can have you know a few more numbers because they've got around 70 members. Yeah. Whereas Lit have over 200. Oh, here's Curtis. Sorry to interrupt you earlier, but Curtis, one of the, the streamers, MORPG, going round trying to get some kills, but is he being taken out or I think he's with a few people? Is he teaming up? I thought <laughs> he was a solo player. Yeah, I'm not oh. too sure. I think Curtis is on his own. He, he's been like uh, you know solo in this, no alts, no donations, yeah. nothing like that. He's been. Uh, uh, really Iron Man in here, so to speak. Well, he always does go hard. Right? Uh, just south of here, obviously, is the final area, Bahrain Village. It's going to be multi down there. So these clans, they can't do too much in this single-way environment. They can obviously PJ and, and yeah. take it on one at a time, but uh, a little bit further south, and yeah. everyone, it's a free-for-all, basically. Yeah, although, like, in this situation, it looks really hectic, and if you're a solo player, that's like, you know, it's, it's regardless of whether you're in single-way combat, if you see that many players that are on the same team, that's quite daunting, but... I think I also saw... Is that Tim's project? Is that Spark Mac? Yeah, Leading the, tri leading the tribe. 
<laughs> into oh, it's on a kill already going yeah. south. But it, it goes to too freeze. fast. Like, look, to catch that look at everyone else running north. Now they see the other opponents. They're like, nah, spark back. You're on your own, mate. Good luck Spar taking these guys yeah. on. Spark back needs to take that helmet off, man. I'm surprised that he's using um, Sara Strike as well. I haven't got Ancients. I guess a lot of the clans were camping down yeah, the, uh, the DT final area. And that's something to note as well. So another one of the um, more popular streamers, uh, Sick Nerd. He's um he's got like some of the most insane end game stats oh for this yeah. Deadman mode invitation. Like 120 combat almost. Yeah, I'm like sure. over 90 Slayer. Um, he got 94 Mage as well, but unfortunately he wasn't <laughs> he wasn't able to complete Desert Treasure yeah, because all the so clans many were clans camping were, Yeah, they were holding him back. So he's really really salty about that. But looking back at Edgewell again now, just again people trying to stay out of combat, not trying to you know waste too many supplies. Um, not too sure which other teams are around him. Maybe we can fly around the rest of the map and look around a little bit better. Yeah, the, the start of the final hour is always quite, you know, it's quite calm. It's like the calm before the storm. Everyone wants to preserve all their supplies. They don't want to get in too many battles. There's not really, like, much point, especially if you're in a big clan. Yeah. I mean, it's fair to, like, this guy in the green dehyde chaps, they'll pick him off because they know that they're not going to yeah. waste. He's just been done. I see no? a guy in, in myth farm walking HP. about getting ice burst as well. Poor guy. Look at him. He's, he's got no chance. Look, Tyrus that looks like you. <laughs> oh, wow. The five defense. Okay. Um, just to mention as well, guys, if you're at home and you're watching the demo tournament or with us in the audience right now, feel free to use the hashtag, hashtag Deadman on Twitter to join the discussion. We're reading out a few tweets from Twitter that we get given yeah, to us. Yeah. So um, yeah, let us know what you're doing, how you're finding the uh, the tournament. Do you play RuneScape or is it just a nostalgia kind of trip for you? Yeah, and just checking great. out what's going on. Uh, is this lit right here? I believe it is. So they're the last winners. Huge clan. I think they have the most numbers out of everyone. I love the way that when they walk in and out of each other, when they're on the death dots, it kind of looks like a slinky. Oh wow, look where they're standing. So they're standing, I believe, in single way. And he's dead. They're he's dead. That's a really smart strategy. Single way there, so they can't be picked off in a big clump. But they can go into multi, still attack into multi, yep. and do the uh, the area effect damages spells like they did there. That's something that we're probably going to see as well. Obviously, they're not going to be able to stand oh, so sorry. much this, single is this way combat. This isn't lit. Yeah. This is rot. Is it not? I think this is rot actually. This is, yeah. Oh wow! <laughs> Look at the and down in one here. Easy. The emerald so bolts. So just staying again, like I said before, defending that area, trying to be the yeah. first there, so they can you know that's, mount that offense that's when they get there. That's something to take notice of. Look at that. They're using emerald bolts enchanted, which obviously gives a poison effect. How many players in the final hour do you think are going to have like super anti poisons on oh, them? Oh nobody. Yeah. But there's no there's no venom in this game, obviously. There's uh, no there's no venom, but it could be the different. Out. It could be the difference if it's like. Oh yeah, definitely. Down to a, apologies for that. Down to a couple of brews, and um, you know, someone's poisoned, someone's not. That might be the difference between that twenty grand and, and nothing. Yeah, we just saw Maz there, who's uh, obviously with Rot right now. Um, beforehand, I had a little word with him about what he was going to do his strategy and such. He said he was going to go around, maybe get a few kills and such. But yeah. after being told about the five thousand potential dollars that he could make if he lasts the longest out of the four streamers on on stage right now, I think he's going to stick with Rot, to be honest. Yeah, and and you know, we we did our predictions earlier and. Both Ian and myself predicted that Mazar was going to last the longest on stage. Uh, obviously, uh, Chris and Shawnee both both went for you never learned. Yep. But that really depends, you know, in that final hour, how many banks are going to be around? How much? Well, how many brews can you never learn stand in the bank <laughs> and sip on it? <laughs> well, I mean, the only bank closest is, is obviously the Edgewell Bank, which is why a lot of people are being situated right here right now, um, sitting around here. So they've got supplies. If you go away from this bank, you're not in Edgeville, then you've got all the way to Varrock, which is through a multi-line, all the way to Falador, yep. lots more multi-lines. This is the safest place for most people to be right now. Obviously, if you're low level, though, you'll get picked off by the high levels so quickly and so easily. Yeah, and we've just been informed that the fog has started to shrink now, so the fog's going to be coming in, and it's going to be in wow. I got that to start guy to that mystic so guy, red bars. So that's two red bars that we've seen <laughs> oh in like my. the last two minutes, and that guy's not got you know mystic's pretty good, although it's pretty basic mage Ooh, gear. But Solly, is that? I think that's Mazar actually. I believe that's his name, 111 Combat. He's got Barrage out. Uh, he's got some uh, some Ancient Magic flying in here. Trying to just rack up some kills, you know? Yeah. If it comes down to a few people dying at the end at the same time, if he has yep. the most kills, he will take home that $20,000 grand prize. Absolutely. And I think as well, this is really smart. Um, a lot of players are situating themselves in Edgeville. I think, personally, if I were playing this tournament, if I were with a clan as well, not casting, I would situate myself here as well, knowing that the final area is going to be in Barbarian Village. That's the least like dangerous choke point that you have. You have to go south. You're running from single to multi through that, that brick wall that we can see on screen there. Mm -hmm. And there are other places as well where you can come from. If you come from the west, you're going to be coming from Falador. And if you're coming from east, which I think is the most dangerous place, yep. you're coming from Varrock. And there's a bridge, and that's yeah. one by one. You exactly. run across that, you can, get clumped you can there be and you're so all dead. screwed. So just south of here, obviously, we have the multi-lines, and this clan is just sitting here waiting, and back into Varrock now, seeing some 1v1s. Wow, this guy's gear. He's done very well to get that amount of supplies and such. He has, is that a Guffin's Helm, and some tank gear? He's taking whip. a risk, although although he's like, you know, he's got much, much better gear than this guy. He's sat at pretty low HP, yeah. three-quarter HP. He's probably not got 99 health, so let's... Say
the team was sporadically insane. I am insane, loving this fight, it? by the way. I'm just going to say that. This guy on the left, he was just barraging with Smite Up. Absolutely fearless. Ice Cream 77. I believe that's a name from Tartar, potentially. Yeah. Tartar and Execution have teamed up this time around. They're World 45 PKers. Um, it might be a rock member, though, but I'm pretty sure it's Tartar. Um, 1v1 this, right now. He's just destroying well. him. This, this guy that's in the bank with the Aram's top and hood, he wasn't chained in his prayer. He's so Web scared Graphist. of the faults that he was just having none of it. He had the protect oh, range the up the whole time. Oh, the from Graphist. What are you doing, mate? <laughs> <laughs> Don't be so HP. If a Gmo comes out now, he could be dead. Oh, he's playing it very riskily. But he's okay. The guy's smited. Can he get a quick kill oh, here? Go on, the first kill of the tournament. 30. Oh, it's the two the to two. finish him. GG. The crowd. GG. Jagex Lenny coming in with the tweet as well. Ready for the hashtag Deadman final hour. Old school RS. Yeah, if you're at home and you're excited and you're watching, you know, throw us some tweets and we can read that out. Tell us what you're doing. What's your strategy for the final hour? Yeah, That'd definitely. Awesome. So in the bank right now, obviously, if you do use the bank when you're in combat, you have a few seconds delay before you can actually eat any food. Mm -hmm. So you've got to be careful. You've got to be knowing exactly what you're doing, have all the ticks perfect, the clicking on point. Yep. Otherwise, you can easily get just, you know, destroyed, really, because you can't eat any food. Uh, this is Beta Liberal. This is Adam, uh, the streamer Sick Nerd. The, with the a guy Carol's without Barrage. <laughs> the guy without Barrage. Although saying that, 94 Mage just proved a very, very high Mage defense bonus. Yep. Is his first kill going to pick up? Kabo doing absolute work. Zeros into the whip. Oh, the, the stack. stack. That was Through nice. The Through the prey melee, melee. Well. yeah, 23. Real nice there. Nice work, Adam. So uh, walking about back to uh, Edgeville. This is back onto Mazar. Another thing to think about too is that we saw a really significant change in the last iteration of the Deadman Mode finale. Mm -hmm. Whereas you'd go on, you know, spec him out. Daryl Sax, yes. No. <laughs> oh, I want to spec DH out. If he like did a 50. A I don't know. He, he didn't have the oh, full set. Oh, again. Got, got, is no. that Guthans Helm? I think it is. Yeah, Guthans Helm with the DH out. Yeah. Pretty ambitious. The guy's killing as well. He's got rune armor on. He's not doing that. Oh, Varrox Flail too. This guy's been to Barrow's quite a lot. Maybe it's uh, your prediction's going to come true. I hope so, man. Yeah. I really do. The, the in-game MVP is going to run around with the Darryl, uh, the uh, Varrox Flail. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, talking about MVPs. Here we go. Devalued account. 56 combat. Myth Plate versus Myth Plate. <laughs> Who's your money on, Elliot? I didn't realize that Automology was playing this. <laughs> oh. Uh, back into Varrock right now. These guys got such nice gear. You never learn. Oh, no. Taking a lot of damage already. You see the concentration on his face. Trying to quickly eat up. He's got full Darrox. Max gear, pretty much. Oh. Really high defense bonuses. But whoever's on him right now is doing you absolute can see, work. You can see the concentration in his face. He knows there's $5,000 up for grabs if he's the last man standing on the stage of the four players up here. He needs to do something here because obviously if he, get, if he gets caught here as the folks coming in, he, he won't be able to fight back. This guy's clearly no. out, outplaying him completely. Yeah, he's, he's not only outplaying him, but look at his gear advantage. And like I was going to say earlier as well, Ian, uh, oh, you never learn, guys, you got full Daroks on there. That's really nice. Oh, no. The Darok for me is going to happen. It's Turn around, gone. hit a 90 against Smite. He's in robes, <laughs> so he's likely to hit it. Pulls out the G-Mall, finishes him off. That'd 40, be, 40. That'd be that'd sick. That'd be so nice. But, um, so yeah, a change that we saw uh, made in previous Im Invitational was that if you kill someone, so if you kill someone on normal 07 servers and they've got, you know, you do a Darok fight, you kill them, oh, their Darok is going to be going on right now. Sorry to interrupt. It's not in this. What is this? DLC shell lit. I believe that is lit in the corner. Going down. Obviously, they're in single single way. I'm pretty sure still in the northeast corner. So they can attack into multi, yeah. but can't be stacked out as well, yeah. which is uh, insane. DL and Lit seems to have teamed up then. Form an alliance. They, they, can, the other do, have as they well. can do so much damage. Oh, to yeah. Just stragglers that run past, and although it may not seem like it's very effective, just taking out all these solo players, it really makes a difference. If you've got like, let's say, a hundred solo players yeah. in that final area and two clans, those solo players are just slinging barrages and chin chompers yeah. left and right. You can lose so many members oh, to that, definitely. even if they're not on a team. We're gonna we're gonna really see the. Uh, Oh, what's going on here? Looking around right now. Back, a few clans, just no one engaged in combat like we said before. We're going to see a very slow um, and steady I'm movement. I'm quite surprised because in the previous yeah. Deadman Mode Invitationals, we saw a lot less combat than this. We've, yeah. seen, we've seen quite a lot. We've I, seen, I like think it's the MVP award that, that we've talked about. Yeah, oh, yeah, D-Long yeah. versus g Mall in the corner there, but both this no, no getting prayer either. He's getting bone bolted right at the end there. XD going to go down to Alfie, getting his first kill potentially. Can he catch a freeze? Can he catch a freeze? Or is he going to let the guy get away? He's misclicking on trees. Don't barrage <laughs> the tree, Alfie. You can see that. Oh, he's going to the bank. Unless he can catch a freeze here. You catch a freeze? Yes. He nice. Nicely caught. Finish him off here, right? He's got he's, oh, the, the stuff star bash. bash. Alfie's shaking in his high tops. Not a chance, man. He's got carols. He's got barrage. He's got everything, man. Oh, the fakey doesn't change his prayers, though. He's doing really well, but the redemption? not the, rede the redemption flick. I respect oh, that. You know, catching him off guard. So this guy's got to step on, like, what, 10 to 15 squares. He's in the bank. Oh, oh the DDS spec on oh, although full he's, HP. Although he's full HP, that could have really added a, like, you know. Oh, yeah, but no. That could have changed the pace of the fight completely there. If I he'd feel like hit, Alfie's like, a 30, got this. 30, that would have been... 
So um, the guy he's fighting right now obviously has barrows on. Uh, he's got the Darok's plate body. Yeah. If you do kill people, he said earlier, Elliot, that have got barrows on them, then um, you can pick it up and wield it yourself. This guy must be out of food by now. He's chomping bruise down. He can't have much left. He's surely going to die. Oh, 23, almost a max hit, but practically from the uh, Carol's crossbow. Him, Alfie. The guy gets to the bank. He's le leaving the bank, going past the bank. He's going to the... What? The underground? Yeah, Al Alfie's got this. Alfie's surely got yeah, this he's kill. Out he's out of food now. That's why Alfie's he, first kill, I believe. Why would he not so go to the, to the Alfie for that one. I don't know, man. Maybe he just oh, knew. Maybe oh, GG. And Very he quickly nice. gets away now before the stream cuts up. <laughs> He's shaking his head, but to be fair, that was a great performance by you, Alfie. Yeah, you had some I good mean... fakies in there, some good switches, and you, uh, you took care, clean work of that guy real quick. Really, really nice. Looking around to some other players right now. Who's this? Konichi? He's doing farming. a farm run. <laughs> Getting those last few brews while he can. Oh, not this a chance, mate. That's spec yeah, from Graphist. That's his second kill, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, he's not messing around, man. Yeah. That was he's, not, he's not only going for that um, on-stage MVP. He's trying to rack up those kills early on, Ian. Because, you know, if there's more than one person left at the end, and there's, you know, we've been in here for over an hour, we have to determine who the winner's going to yeah. be. And that's going to be the person that has the most kills. Looking around in the bank right now again. There's lovely green Clans capes just, everywhere. Yeah, not doing, not doing much really. I mean, you can bolt each other in a bank. It's 1v1. You're not really going to get any kills unless you get a Rambo spec. Or like yeah. I say, the Darok bombing if that happens. I would really hope so. Yeah, I mean, that would be very interesting to see. I can imagine it going really horribly wrong though. So uh, every five minutes or so, I believe the fog does move in closer. So we will see people being pushed together. Is that Bandos Tassets that guy's wearing? Um, and a I'm Darok's helm. And a fire cape. I wow. couldn't tell. I could only see the back of him slightly. If he's got, might if have been Tacit. If he's got Tacit, that's, yeah. I think courageous Robert, to Robert go the to live streamer. Wars. I think yeah. Robert the live streamer actually got some Tacit from, from Bandos, yeah, wow. which is very dangerous, obviously, being in God Wars Dungeon. Really far away from a safe zone. You get hit there, it's multi. Oh, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember in the uh, in the original, you know, the World 45, constant dead man servers. So yep. these are the seasonals. They they last uh, one month, but we have a, a couple of servers, uh, one server, sorry, that's up all the time. And um, do you remember in Legends, Ian, when we used to play that all the time? Mm -hmm. And uh, everyone had, like, alt accounts with really high range and magic, and we used to just go to God Wars. And try and guess that was a yeah. Star for the Dead Stars or the an dead, AGS or something. So back into Byron Village now. So it's interesting, actually. This is Rot, I believe, in that northwest corner. And then the northeast corner, a bit further up, was um, lit, wasn't it? So they're really uh, yeah. close, yeah. really close together. So I, I can see a fight breaking out between those two because obviously last time round, Rot were killed really early on by a clan called Fools and a few yeah. other smaller clans. So um, they want to get the revenge, really. Yeah. Alfie finding another kill, but barraging. Oh, it's smited. Smited. Oh, that's, Alfie that's smited. That's one. Yeah, these surely. guys are killing the, the us well. Is gonna go through him He's right destroying now. all these people Zero one by barrage. one. Oh, this could be a lure though. This could be a lure because a bit if further south is going to be multi lines at the Green Hill, I believe it's called. Yeah, it and is. And if Alfie follows him in and thinks to himself, I can take this guy easily, it all takes is one freeze. One freeze is frozen and he's dead. He's Al going for it. He's he's fearless. Al Alfie's played so. Oh, no, he maybe knows. not. He knows. He knows it's a bait. I, think he's, I think he heard me. He's, he's played for. <laughs> nah. He's played for way too long to. It is a bait. Look, you see them dancing yeah. in, the, in the house, the brass key. <laughs> really clever play by that. I might have just saved Alfie there, if, actually. If he you have fallen Alfie. for that, though, that would have been, uh, that would have been quite the embarrassing way to go. We up. have Boaty, yeah. Adam running Adam around. Adam was PK in here last time, do you remember? He loves walking around Lumbridge, yeah. doesn't he? Hopefully, he doesn't get caught behind the Alcarid gate again, though, last time, oh, like yeah, he did. He did. But um, he's got some decent gear. He's been playing non stop the past week, like 20 hours a day and such. He started to do, I believe, his tactic was 75 Slayer for Gargoyles, made yep. himself a bunch of money, got 94 for barrage. Look at these fakies coming in. The guys don't even change his prayers. Easy. Um, <laughs> but he's, do, he's doing really well. I think he went PKing yesterday and died, he did. didn't he, Elian? Yeah, he did unfortunately die. And uh, another person as well who's on stage. He's like Tangle in full rune. <laughs> You're not going to ca catch the boaty meister like that. Come on now. Thinks his tall Vesta catching those 29 barrages in full right? tank. Jesus. Oh, this is an easy mob kill for Adam. The safe, safe zone nearby, or I'm not the safe zone. Still going for the entangles in that gear. What's he doing? Yeah, I respect it. Yeah, I mean, yeah, if, he I if he catches that. the freeze, to be fair, and hides behind a tree, he can tell out in time. Imagine how annoyed Adam would be if this guy catches an entangle. Oh, I, I can, I can hear him right now in the back of my room. head. Oh, zero, zero. He's going to be angry at that one. That should be the yeah, kill right there. Should have been. But Adam just, again, taking clear work of this guy. He's got nowhere to run to. Adam's barely used any supplies up. Um, Longbridge is quite a long run away, so we'll see. And all these splashes, yeah. Yeah, he needs to, he needs to take that Torek helm off when he's going for the barrages. Oh, it? definitely. Do Not the four switches. way helm take off. But look at him, carols and everything. Oh, oh my way. God. What? Where did that come from? <laughs> God damn, I've got the audience casting for me right now. I'm getting so excited. Um, I think he's got one. Oh, down, sat. Come on, take Adam down like that. That'd be sick. Dude, imagine imagine this guy sat there, like, you're pretending to be. He's, he's like a PK shark. Just puts this full Adam Darrox boots, right so now. He's just, yeah, does a four way switch to Darrox and 70s out. him. I think he's out. Adam's yeah, going to get that Darrox axe now. The question is, will Adam use it? Well, 
I, GG. I can't see Adam using a Darok Sax when he's got a, a Torx helm on. That would be... Oh, no. Looking back at edge right now as well, not much going on. Few clans lurking around, obviously close to that final area that is Barbarian Village. Yeah. If they situate themselves too far away, as Adam has right now, could get caught in the fog. It could, you know, catch them I by mean, surprise. I mean, yeah, the, the fog is shrinking every five minutes. And uh, who's um, this? Oh, this is cute. Anti rot. A little free man squad going to take rot on. Yeah, I wonder if they'll be able to. <laughs> we, we spoke a second ago about Adam dying. Uh, so he, yeah. he obviously got really good gear. Alfie said that he gave him some uh, really, really nice gear, Barrow's gear. He went PK and unfortunately teleported into, <laughs> into a multi zone and then got oh killed. My. But um, despite that, though, he's still got really good gear on. Yeah, right he's still yeah. got barrage. He's still got Incredible really high gear. combat. So he's going to go far, I think. And the man on stage with us today, Mazar, who's representing Rot, he actually arrived at the hotel that Ian and I are staying at. And uh, that was last night. He uh, he arrived. He pulled out his laptop, tried to uh, tried to go PKing with a touchpad. Um, which, yeah. You know, I don't I don't know about that. The day before the tournament, tried to go PKing and unfortunately died. Yeah. He's he only had out. 30 minutes sleep because he stayed up all night rebuilding. Checking out graphics as well back at Edgeville. Uh, it was on a kill, but I believe he's walking away now. Doesn't want to waste too many supplies. He's afraid that other clan members are going to like tag him off now. Yep. He's obviously with Lit as well, and Lit was situated a bit further south. I believe you never learn was actually with them, going for that five thousand dollars, going for that last man out of the four standing. But oh, is this a rush? This is Lit moving back up to the bank. Maybe to restock. Guess yeah. More supplies and such. Um, they are going to be have to run straight back down again as fast as they can, though, because Rot was a bit west, weren't they? And if Rot changes positions, they could catch it out. They yeah, might they, not know they they're coming. Could. So. And we've been seeing a lot of, you know, a lot of people that were just like one on one, and a lot of individual players being picked off by the big teams down there by uh, by Lit with the uh, the single this, spells and this stuff. This team looks the, like a lot of people. We've lost really 100 players, too. Ian. 100 really? It, ju it just went down from 600 to 500 players Where remaining. Where are they so. going? It looks like they're going to go all the way around. So they're going to go for the um, the bridge method east of Barbarian <sighs> Village. And you were saying earlier that's not Ooh. a very smart strategy. Explain that quickly for us earlier. I mean, so when we're going to be, uh, when we're seeing the final area, which is Barbarian Village, one of the points of entry is going to be from Varrock to get to Barbarian Village from Varrock, you're going to have to go over a small bridge. And uh, if you guys are familiar with Soul Wars from back in the day, we used yeah. to see a lot of people barraging on those bridges. It's going to be the same here. So look at look at that bridge. That's a, it's a two-square bridge. If um, if there's a team waiting on the other side of that and they catch multiple people running over, they're going to all get frozen on that and chin chomp put yeah. to death. Uh, we have a tweet coming in from Mud Archie. Shout out to this crowd for the great energy. Hashtag Dead Man Shout out to that's you guys. Thank you for coming. That's Appreciate something that. I, uh, I was completely expecting, you know. We, we've casted a couple tournaments before this, Ian, and they've both been in the United Kingdom. And uh, I think America's, uh, I don't know, they're kind of famous for their real energetic Approach. charisma, yeah, their definitely. personalities. They're always, they're always <laughs> really... <laughs> the USA chance. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Both of the demon spec could have killed him there. Is he going to oh, be caught in the fog? The fog's going to be bad in. for him. Is he going to dip away or is he going to stay around? I don't know. Adam's near that gate again. Could oh, we no, see imagine if he goes through and just gets one I mean, hit. I, I would I laugh so much. The guy's luring him. I guess Al Karid is obviously in the uh, the multi zone as well, way too far away from the Bahrain village. And we to be yeah. very careful here. If he does fall him through, he could get caught out. And yeah, the rocket nice launcher. Oh, he sees Adam teleport Ooh, straight away. He's like, nope, I don't want anything to do with this. Yeah. Adam, Adam just got bolted down to about 25, 30 HP there. The guy's got the right prayers up, though, so he's doing a lot of melee damage right now. Pre he was being arrogant with his smite up, Ian, and he's uh, swiftly he, changed he his tune. He is an tune. arrogant PK, isn't he? All the way south. Where's this guy going? There's no escape. You're going to a dead end, my friend. Oh, no. Now you're caught by Adam. Unless, gonna... you, unless he goes down <laughs> oh, no, the river. Lit literally is in the worst position, isn't he? Yeah. We've got another fight going down the bottom oh, left the corner there. <laughs> And uh, we saw someone perish. I'm not sure who actually died there, but Wait, someone was... Wait, it's the Stepping Stones. This is, I think, southeast of Barbarian Village. Um, so they going to come from the south, I believe, to go over the Stepping Stones. Really interesting position to be there yeah. from our Graphis team. Oh wait, Graphis has fallen! Oh my <gasps> god, the first to go! That was what we were seeing. That was what we were seeing. Was yeah, that Graphis? That I didn't realize that was Graphis. Oh, he lasted 21 minutes and 10 seconds. I will say he's shown an absolute amazing performance, going for kills, doing some, you know, giving us some content I, basically. I mean, but I mean, I kind of feel sorry for him. Yeah, man. I know. I oh. feel really bad for him. I, well, it was, it was inevitable that one of them were going to yeah, die first. Yeah, that's true. And now, yeah. I'm and I'm thinking of a kill. That's I'm the sorry, second we've Graphist. seen so far. Moving around now to Angry Bolter. I wonder how much damage Adam's going to take from the fog. I imagine it's not going to be that much well, because the fog's. I mean, you it's, say not as, that. it's not as violent as it used well, to be, as to say the least, right? Oh, no! <laughs> oh, is that just Did someone die? just died? Someone died on three hit points! What? <laughs> Are you kidding just me? Someone died off a stepping <laughs> oh, stone. This is brilliant. <laughs> so this looks to be lit. They've That's relocated the worst themselves. Way to go. 
Like I said before, they knew that Rot were West, and they made the executive decision to change locations and not try and go for that one-on-one -on -one fight just yeah, yet. Yeah. Um, now it's come from the south, obviously, near Draenor Manor. Um, so coming from here, there are a few choke points Tim. coming into Barbarian Village as well. Like, I can't stop laughing at that guy that just died from falling off <laughs> yeah, a stepping know, right? stone, man. That oh, must be too. the worst way to but go. The thing is, I think he had pretty good gear. To, I don't think he was a noob. He looked no. like he was like a like hundred combat or something. Imagine that. Was, that. that was lit's Spent best player. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> we make up north here, as I said before. There are a few little choke entries here. So if, if Rot does reposition themselves, they get caught by another clan. Yeah. They'll be uh, having to flee back down south. To be honest. And We've the audience got with the, uh, the tryhards, <laughs> standard. <laughs> tryhards and the has. What's that one? That, is and that the resident, resident sleeper? sleeper? That better not be aimed at me, no. bro. Come on now. All right, looking around again. That's aimed at you, Ian. That's aimed at me? How yeah. dare you? All right, looking around. <laughs> How very still, dare you? There's, there's not really We're much so going on lit right now. Thank you. They're just chilling. Not really you know, yeah, going into combat. They're, they're We're going to fly around, time. I think. We still have 500 plus players remaining. Just a little remark again. Um, you can tweet us, hashtag deadman, if you yep. want to get in touch. We can write a few tw tweets on stream right now. It's good. Uh, it's good to actually be cast in a different, uh, a different country. You know, we've done the last two in the United yeah. Kingdom. How are you enjoying oh, California? Really? Absolutely blessed, man. Yeah. So grateful and so blessed to be. You it's know, amazing. Here. We started this two years ago, I believe, the casting and such. Yeah. Um, yeah. In Jagex's his office, actually. Uh, was the first ever one. I never thought we'd be here in LA yeah, being flown crazy, out to do man. this. The, so it's, the uh, weather's beautiful. It's mad. The food, the food oh, is don't absolutely Don't get me started phenomenal. on the food. I put on so many one. pounds this, this, <laughs> this past I'm going to say something controversial in front of all these Americans. Oh, Ian. God. I'm ready. Dinner. Dinner and lunch, you guys do it phenomenally. So much better than the UK. That can't be denied. But I'm not a fan of the, you know, the, the sweet pancakes, all the sauce and the chocolate chips well, for breakfast. I'm, no, I I'm going to disagree man. with you there. I disagree with you. I had IHOP the other day <laughs> for the first time. I had strawberry pancakes and they were great. Oh, man. Well, I had way too much strawberry sauce on my French toast. We have a tweet from Faux Tanking Time. Old school RS, I'm hyped. This is the best hashtag at Deadman tournament yet by far. Good job. Thank you for the tweet, mate. I'm glad you're enjoying the stream. Yeah, that's awesome. That's really awesome. And it's such a, you know, we're, we're hardly even hardly even into the thick of things yet. Ian. Yeah. Adam just carols, carols bow and this guy. Adam loves Dude, a carol bow, He's camping man. the Phoenix necklace. I know. That's he's why he's sitting low HP. He's afraid. But um, just again, just walking around the map, finding those solo players, picking them off one at a time. Does he want to pursue this? I think the bank might be in, in the fog right now. It could well be, yeah. It could well be. Or Adam may be thinking that this guy's going to, yeah, he's in the it fog. It is in the fog. Yeah. He's re-geared though, so Adam's going to be careful here. The guy's going to get stuck in the fog if he gets frozen, which can do a lot of damage as well. And this is another free kill fan. Unless that other guy PJs. Who is that? Oh, it's that Alfie. Is oh, Alfie. I want to see a fight between Alfie Come on, and Adam. Alfie. Alfie, equip your Gmall. Just wait until he's out of combat, and then bam. It's, only, the it's only five grand, Alfie. Just do it. Do it for the content, <laughs> it's brother. Worth it. Um, oh, folks coming in soon, though. It looks like Alfie might actually call a few lit members. If they do, I'm going to be taken out very, very quickly. Yeah, that'd Focus be Focus space is ready. I wonder how Graphist actually died, because we didn't really get to see much of that. We just saw the little screen at the bottom, and it flicked over as he died. I think he died to a barrage. So he said uh, on stage with the interview with Chris that he was going to be sticking with lit. Mm -hmm. Do you reckon he got, you know, he got a bit cocky, ran off on his own, and then I, got I caught I think out? so, yeah. We saw him earlier by himself, so well, that yeah. was the case. Um, looking at Northwest right now, trying to chase this target down. Is that Alfie chasing him? Look Looks like it, or just gonna off each other. They might be friends. Or maybe Alfie came to save him from Adam. Oh, no, it's Chat Shop, never mind. That's not Alfie. Oh, my Alfie's bad. gear's way better than that guy. He's been, he's been sweating out Barrow's chests all week, man. Ooh, interesting strategy here, like following the fog around, like trying to stay right in the, the outskirts of it, you know, getting pushed with it. But will yeah. that prove more valuable? coming in the last second than, you know, defending like Rot always yeah, did. Yeah, it's, it's always a tricky one, isn't it? Because we saw, like, you know, the al one, there was only just that one-by-one one little barrier that you had to go through. So defending that was obviously going to be more beneficial because everyone had to go through that and they could get clumped in one go. Yep. Whereas this time, there's so many different entry points. There are oh, obviously a, a lot of... Oh, is that a Sorry, that's just funny. That, that thing that's can Curtis, hard, actually. Man. Curtis fighting someone in the bank, having a little battle. He wants some kills, man. He's been, he's been yeah. chilling. He's a solo player. He hasn't taken any donations. He hasn't swapped or anything like that. No. And uh, he's done really, really, really well. He's I think he hung out on the Ankus, didn't he? Yeah, the whole way through. What did he he uh, declared himself the king of Ankus, yeah, I believe. Yeah, at the stronghold of security. Yeah. We have a tweet coming from Speeding. I think the final teams that are going to be the, the, there are Lit, Rot, and Frontline. Excited to see the result. Hashtag Deadman. I man. believe that Speeding is one of the leaders of Frontline. Oh, and really? I'm, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, pre I'm pretty sure that he's not actually playing in the tournament, though. I think he just, <laughs> I think he just wants to oh get the Frontline name out. Where did that come from? 26, 27? Two big bicep. bicep. Wow, that was a good spec, like a max spec, pretty yeah. much from him. I wonder if we'll see a video from Big Bicep starting off in the uh, Edgeville Monastery. There, he's hitting huge, man. He's got yeah. some really impressive stats. Oh here. yeah, and gear too. He's got the carols. He's got the uh, the the 
Helm's robes, the mage bonus, yeah. tank helm. It's got everything. What would be your what would your be uh, your your method be? And say you were in a clan, you were playing this one. You know that you've got barbarian village to uh, take and Me? hold down. Would you would you play it safe and stay I outside would. of it, or would you would you try and go in early, hold down the fort a bit, and uh, Honestly, try and kill on coming people? Hearing, and clans? hearing about the five thousand dollars for the MVP. I would want to go for that personally. I'd yeah, run around, I like mean, I said, in my strategy, the Darrell Sacks, just flying around, going, just going, for MVP. going for ridiculous kills. But <laughs> if I was actually playing with a clan to win it, yeah. I would, yeah, I'd let the, the noobs go in as cannon fodder, you know, run yeah, in, let yeah. them die first, and then I'd, I'd come in and, and take my win, mate. Fair play. What, what about what, you? What if you're on stage? What if you had that 5,000 to on play for stage? on stage? Oh, God, I would. Dude, I'd be, sh I'd be I hiding, would, like, mm -hmm. dude. Oh. I'd beg rot or lit to off me, Please basically. Save me. <laughs> Please save me. <laughs> um, beg for mercy. Yeah. Miko279, I think that's the leader of DI, I'm pretty sure. Uh? I'm I'd not too sure. I know that DI are playing Damage Incorporated. Mm. This is their third tournament, um, I believe. And oh, if he gets caught here, you can no, see all the rock members yeah, just try. Oh, 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 he oh, oh, stepped oh. one square too far. Bicep, dude. He's playing that riskily right yeah, now. That's rock that's way just too sitting risky. there. All it takes is one freeze, and then anyone's going to hit him at the same time. He's dead from full HP. He yeah. can't survive that. And he decides to run away. That's probably the best, the best tactic to go for, to be <laughs> I, honest. I would have done the same I thing. I wouldn't tempt rock like that, no. That's no. asking to be killed. Yeah, this is DI's third tournament. They've um, they actually came close to winning on the last one. they uh, one of their players came third. Yep. And um, they've got uh, they've got some really really high high level players. Their top three: FFS mate, Aztecaz, and the best clan. So they're three really prevalent members yeah. for DI to and look DI's out for. And DI's been around for a long time, just like Rot. They've been PKing on the clanning scene for you know years and years and yeah. years now. So they're a prevalent force. We don't see them very much in the demo tournaments. But I think this time around they're going a lot harder. Being pushed by the fog right now, things are going to start getting really interesting. People forced there, into combat. There he there is. He is. There's oh. FFS mate. He's uh, he's leading the clan right now, going into Edville Bank. You can see how strong they've he is. They've not got a huge team. But I mean, you don't need a huge team at the end when everyone's like just fighting each other. All it takes you to be the last one standing, yeah. and then you win the twenty thousand so. dollars. Like, like we've mentioned as well, it's going to be an eleven by eleven square in Barbarian Village this time. So oh, yeah. there's so much scope for just one solo player to get caught up in amongst the havoc and the mayhem of the clan action. And yeah. you know, th say the fog at the end. Look at these guys. <laughs> <laughs> I saw a few YouTubers there, but we kill us. They're, well, they're hoping for that exact thing to happen. Yeah, but literally. I think you guys well, may have got there a little bit early. We always talk about like clan coordination. You know, coming through and clans having the numbers being the you know the, some of the best strategies to go for in these yeah. tournaments. But in this case, when everyone's in that in that area together, everyone just like can't see what they're doing. I don't think I don't think it's, it can come down to anybody winning. It's anyone's game yeah, really. It uh, really absolutely. is. Uh, um, back at Edgeville, just again, 1v1's going on, the darts being thrown, I don't know if that's going to do much damage, mate, but good yeah. luck with that one. It's going to be it's gonna be absolutely awesome as well, because when this when this invitation yeah. is over and we have our winner, we're going to have a new season ahead of us. And, it uh, starts straight away, just a little mention, yeah. um, as before, a little sellout here. The Midsummer Special, three months, the price of two is out right now. The best part, in my opinion, of the seasonal demo in general is that beginning. Yeah, We hopped on once, want to tell us about our, our story about yeah, when we went to Trino Village. Ian and I hopped on, we went into uh, the strong hold of security, which funnily enough is in Barbarian Village. You get your 10k from there. I remember Ian was saying to me, he's like, turn your right click off, Elliot. Turn your, turn your, no, turn your left click off. I'm like, ah, don't worry about it. I'm spamming a door. I skull up, have to trade in my 10k, die, and then recollect it. We got uh, 13 magic and we stood at the tree Name village quest area on the bridge and we one hit like 40 people. It was yeah, so much it, it fun. was a lot of fun. Uh, but What's we coming in from Clank right now? Boaty for final hour MVP. You got this, fam. Hashtag dead man. Thank you for the tweet. But Adam, he's Adam been doing quite well. Adam doesn't need the five he grand. Doesn't, no, he <laughs> definitely doesn't need the five grand. <laughs> Good point there. Um, Rot still hanging about that same location. I don't know when they're going to start moving, if they're going to go for the defense, or they're all going to like, try and let the other clans fight first. In the past tournament, I believe it was Lit that came out on top. And the reason for that is Rock got taken care of very early on by a clan yeah. called Fools and a few other clans. Yes. So um, maybe this time around they're not going to engage in combat and try and make sure they, they at least make it to the last five, ten minutes or so. I mean, I think we're going to see a big re-emergence from Rock. I think last time they took this sort of, um, this really, I, I don't want to say cocky, but they took this approach where they thought they were so much more dominant than every other team and they had been in previous tournaments. And uh, so I suppose it's, I don't know, it's, it's kind of expected for them to become a bit complacent Okay, if this point. guy in Blue Dehyde wins, he He's the not MVP. Winning. If he <laughs> wins, he is the MVP. Hands down. Oh, never mind. I spoke too soon. Oh, the MSP spec coming out of nowhere. The MSP spec on free range, man. That's <laughs> ambitious. 
But right. um, yeah, I, I think with, with Rot this time, they're going to be a lot more cautious. They're not going to take things so much for granted. They're not going to be complacent. I think we're going to see a big reemergence from them, and uh, it's going to be a lot closer at the end. We're going to see some real, real close battles. Oh, definitely. We've got a few pets in here. A little rocky pet. I don't want to see him die, man, because then he runs away and it's, it's gone forever. It's my favorite skilling pet. Aww, it's one of the ones cute. I don't have as well. I have... Uh, I have the chin chomp on my I've man. got the beaver. No one wants the beaver, man. So. <laughs> anyway, down. This is near South Falador. I'm not sure which clan this is, but they are... They've got the... What's it called? The, um, the lit clan in the way. So if they go north, they're going to get hit right there. Yeah, this they're is be really Look careful. Look TSM. I saw... Oh, it's TSM? I, I saw Soup's name, so uh, Soup's I'm assuming that is TSM. <laughs> I think he's named his clan after Team Solo Mid, which is yeah. uh, a really, really big esports organization, especially... Um, Quite, quite well known in the League of Legends. Yeah, I think it was was super. Actually, I reached out to him asking what his uh, tournament had been like, and he said to me that TSM were super confident. They were going to go in. They were going to win it. They were going to have no one was going to be matched to him. Rot yep. lit. No one. They're going to take it. But looking at their gear right now and their numbers, the blue dehyde, the red dehyde. Uh, hey, no amulet. This guy's got no amulet on. <laughs> um, the, he's got a cabbage cape. To be fair, he I mean, doesn't have a beard either. You can't be scared of people in game if they don't have a beard. But they're going to be careful. Like I say, there's there's lit located just north, and that's the if they don't want to go that way, they've got to go all the way round through east, up through uh, Varrock and such, yep. and then go through that deadly bridge we talked about earlier. Am and I, uh, no, the uh, the colour is just a bit weird because of the fog. I thought that guy was rocking a steel plate skirt, but I think it's Rune. No, I think it's Rune as well. Yeah. So this is just south of the Barbarian Village, a few solo players, just again, not trying to get into combat, because if they do, they know they get one hit by the clans. Oh, this guy, is he going to engage, or Ian, is he scouting? What's your, what's your, what's your prediction? For prediction the, uh, right now, I'll be honest, Oh, it's had a I good long let's go from, uh, from Alfie. Maybe Alfie. he's, maybe he's, doing he's something taking uh, combat with someone. He's engaging. Uh, Bo's at the bank edge for now. Move way further up from Lumbridge. For me, predictions right now... Toss just up the, between the toss, up, toss up between Lit and Rot. Honestly, yep. I, I can't put my finger on it. Those two are massive clans right now. But like we said yep. before, it could come down to a solo player winning it or I another clan just like sniping in. So this is my this is my sort of dilemma and where I'm torn between this mm -hmm. because obviously, and this is and this is oh, not a skill <laughs> specs dying to Rot. He's gonna be so <laughs> salty about that. They've killed him. Actually, no, they killed him this tournament already really? at Canopus Bank. He was trying to bank again and he died there. <laughs> so um, yeah. GGJ. We need, for that we one, need man. the kissing cam. The what? The <laughs> <laughs> Elliot, what? Say, save that for after the cast, dude. <laughs> what, are you, what are you talking about? <laughs> oh my god, it was flying in right now. So we have Lick coming from the south, another clan coming from the north, east, and they're going to try and take. Oh, they're going into. The, oh, Rot's been pushed down south as well. Yep. Looks like they have to come to the final area now. It's going to get very this intense, is gonna guys. Get in, this is going to get crazy. So, in terms of predictions right now, Ian, I'm thinking that it's going to be a big, big toss up between Lit and Rot. I can't put my finger on who's going to be the last person standing because that can come down to anything, you know? It could oh, be definitely. anyone. But one thing to point out here. This is not to take away from Lit by any means whatsoever, but I think it's undeniable and objectively true to say that Rot are the most experienced clan PvP yep. team. And I can see them in the northwest corner right now, Rot, a few Rot members Look and such. At this. But the amount of damn hits that's going on right now, how can you tank that? Lit have definitely got the advantage <sighs> here coming from the south, not in the final yep. circle. So if they're attacking and Rot are defending, they've got then you know fight off the Bat Burger. It looks like they're inside the furnace, actually, hiding there for, for cover. This is crazy. This is absolutely crazy. I didn't expect it to be this no, manic this early everyone on. everyone going into the 11 by 11 square, and it's going to be a lot of people dropping, like, flies just really, really quickly. Again, we talked about air effect spells. Yep. We've got magic. Uh, we've got ice barrage. We have chin chompers, which just do so much damage. You throw one, it hits so many people at the chin, same time. Chin chompers are insane as well, because unlike barrage, if you throw a chin chomper at somebody, yep. and it is, it, it, the damage and the accuracy comes down to the person who you've oh. targeted. As Alfie I feel the just audience died, is... Uh, is screaming I've out seen, right now. I've seen Alfie just take off his headset. Wait, he why is, look why is Mazar? Oh, has Mazar died? I'm not too no, sure. No, Mazar's so No, he's calm. just, he's he's just, just sitting just, there. He's just out. like, yeah, I don't even need he my hands. He looks fine right now. I don't need to touch my mouse. I don't need to touch my keyboard. Oh, he has fallen. Oh, no, he has died. Unfortunate. 35 minutes, 46 seconds in, Mazar's fallen. Is that an inkling of uh, an idea of why I'm to rot in general? That means that you never... Oh, Alfie as well down! That means that you never learn. You never learn! Has just That's won five thousand dollars. Oh my God! Congratulations to him. 
That's 15 grand he's won from Dead Man Mode yeah, tournaments already. now, man. Yeah, already. That's insane. So I guess it looks like we were wrong. And, he uh, said, he Chris said right. that he's going to be spending his money on a new car if he wins the 20 grand. I don't know if he's still going to do well, the same we'll from the see. five. I was um, saying how Mazar died so quickly there. Is that like an inkling of an idea of what happened to Rot? Has Rot just fallen down here? Has he gone with them? Or do you reckon it was just a solo kill here? I mean, it's impossible to tell at this point oh, because definitely. there are so many people. But one thing to note, obviously, I was saying, oh, Rot's the more getting powerful now. But Lit have over 200 players. Robert. 20 plus of Lit's players, yep. Ian, have Barrage. Yeah, no, definitely. That's a I lot I think they're on the south barrage. side right now. I'm pretty sure the green capes are Lit. Can you confirm that? Um, I'm I, not too sure, though. Uh, yeah, I... It's, it's, such, it's cluster such a cluster of yeah. insanity we that see it's some, so hard to tell. We see some blood barrages coming in too, which yeah, is really cool. Blood, blood barrage is such a great strategy because oh, obviously not only is it an AOE effect and it does incredible damage, it also heals you as well. Oh yeah, this is a looter's paradise right now. Look at all the loot on the <laughs> ground. And surprisingly, the Derek's armor and stuff that we talked about earlier, the Barrow's armor, people aren't picking it up. Yeah. Well, they can pick it up, wield it straight away, get that extra defense bonuses, make themselves more likely to, to last a bit longer. Oh, that's Look southwest. This, yeah, this There's the barrage part here. we're talking about with that. Lit. That, that, they're the most powerful players by oh, far. Yeah. Look at their gear. If they get killed from an opposing clan, and that clan come in, take their armor, equip it straight Say away, that, we look can all the, see oh, a ship. Look how many falling just like that. Whoa. All the chins have just been directed onto them. I think a few clans have teamed up in alliance, and they're going down so, so if, quickly. If an opposing clan manages to get all this gear, we can see a big shift of power coming from one oh, clan definitely. to another clan, just in terms of gear. I, I find that in RuneScape, like, you can be, I don't know, there could be a difference in 10 levels in a combat mm -hmm. stat, but if you've got gear that's so exponentially better from oh yeah, to it makes a huge difference. Yeah. We only have 100 plus players remaining right now. People, like I said, dropping like flies. Chinchompers seem to be the, the most prevalent use of weapon right now. Yep. Um, obviously, like I said before, you hit a lower target and it does the damage for that, for the area effects. Look at this middle area here. Oh, We've just seen so many people die. You the never learned done. this perished. He got 5k yeah. though, yeah. I wouldn't be Damn too mad. Straight. He's happy, he's really happy. Congratulations, he never learned. That's his second winnings, like you said, from the demo tournament. Yeah. He's going home a very, very happy man. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm looking for uh, you never learn to come home. Maybe a $25 subscription to both Ian and Skiddle. <laughs> <laughs> we have 100 survivors remaining right now. And um, again, I think the green capes, whoever they are, I think it's He's lit. still got his tacits. That guy is, is not... Is that Robert? Oh, it's Robert hiding in the corner. He's fire cape and uh, all. How is he just tanking barrages without that? No one's even attacking him. He's getting bolted occasionally. He's going to go for that, that sneaky Dude. little sniping at the end. Like, uh, and I have nothing against the clans, but it would be absolutely great to see a solo oh, player yeah, win, yeah. right? I think, I think everyone at home as well is also rooting. There's yeah. only the Twitch chat. We can't see it like, right Rob, now. But Robert has tacits and no amulet. <laughs> <laughs> no, he has a Phoenix. Probably a Phoenix no. tanks. Oh, yeah, it's obviously which broken. Used already. And he hasn't got another, yeah. Yeah, definitely. So again, like I said before, the green cape seems to be the most prevalent right now. But um, it is anyone's game, really. Absolutely. I mean, if you could, if you could, uh, as far as predictions go, obviously, who would you want to win? Have you got anyone in mind that you're, you're maybe you're friends with, or oh, you think is yeah. a great player I mean, that you would? I'd love to see my friends win. I think Adam might still be alive, to be honest. Maybe yeah. genuinely. I, I haven't seen him. Normally, but I can see Adam, him on that, on yeah, that I tournament view at the bottom there. right. He is, he is alive. He's so he's doing something. He's doing quite well as well. Level 111, really impressive, and he is still alive indeed. And looking down to the bottom left right now, again, those barrages we saw before, which were really, really powerful in really good gear, there's like two left now. So they got yeah. taken care of very, very early, which is a really this? smart strategy. Don't we have seven going down? He's a member of Tartar, I believe, the World 45 clan. Yep. And also a, a content creator we too. Can so see, we can see quite a few content creators in here. Oh, we've, yeah. got, we've got Boaty in there still. We've got Big Bicep. We've got Robert. We uh, might have killed Robert. I don't, oh. know, I don't know. I think that stream's caught up now. And it's WTF7. <laughs> and everyone's attacking Robert right now. And I don't think he's going to be able to tank it for much longer. They saw him in his band of tassets. They want them. They want yeah. to pick him up and wield them using the, the offensive bonuses I mean, they've got. They're, they're great offensively, but, you know, people are using Barrage and the Chin Chompers and Robert's dead. Oh, unlucky, unlucky for Robert. 54 players remaining. Coming and down the, to the final last few. Saint coming in with a tweet. Great tournament already. Lit. Uh, can't wait to see the winner. Boaty to the top. Are you still alive? He's Dead tanking. Man. He is. He makes the top 50, pretty much. That's Can he make it? Really impressive, but I think Dude. he's going to die he's, right now. No, he can't tank for that much longer unless these guys around him give him some, some help, but it yeah, doesn't look like he's it. He's also got five keys on him. I'd destroy five those. Keys. And, uh, oh, he's done amazingly well. Yeah. He's done incredibly well. Looking back into the middle right now, just um, lots of still, lots of shins and stuff. Oh, he's gone. He's down. GG. Unfortunate. 
Well, well played though. As someone that's live streaming and oh, probably yeah. has a lot of viewers, right at the end there, to last in the top 60 players, that's you know commendable. That's Definitely. fantastic. Same with Robert. Yeah, looking in the middle right now again. It looks like there's a one big team left because I see people just picking off one, one at a time. You know, everyone having that coordination. Yeah. Let's go on this guy. Let's go on that guy. Taking down one by one. That's the most that's the, where the power numbers really plays through. And that's evident from the players remaining in the top left. We can see that there was a huge, huge influx of players. Oh, they yeah. flew into Barbarian Village. We saw numbers drop in the 50s and the hundreds. And then now we now we can just see these players, and it's just a, you know a couple people, yeah. two three people being picked off at a time. We have a, uh, a tweet coming in from Kieran hashtag Deadman Skidler and Ian Spam being brilliant as always, quality content boys. Thank you so much for the kind words. Thank you very much, Bless Kieran. You. It's a pleasure, brother. Big bicep going down now as well. One of the few content creators that have been left right to, to the end. That's well done to him actually. To be fair, I didn't yeah. expect that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's uh, awesome. It does we look like lit. It does we can look see like so left. many names in the bottom right there. Just lit, lit, lit. Di yeah. Different, different ways of spelling it. You know. Looks like they might be able to take their second uh, tournament now because last this time we obviously won as well. To back, yeah, back I to believe. back tournaments, showing rot that maybe they're not the greatest PvP clan out there potentially. Absolutely, yeah. Um, so we, one of the one of the debates that we were having prior to the actual yeah. tournament ensuing was. Will Rot, with their experience but lower numbers, be able to take on Lit, who don't, you know, necessarily have the experience that Rot have had for 10 plus Wait. years, but they have a lot more numbers? I think maybe. I think Lit did team up with a few other clans. The question is, are some of those clans that are left going to turn around now and try and take care of Lit? Will it be like a, a BSing fest, everyone backstabbing each other and such? Yeah, I mean, that would be interesting to see. Uh, I, I have no idea. We can't predict that kind of thing, but I'm hoping that everyone does turn on each other because that'll make for some great content. Is that Mod Ronan <laughs> in, the, in the cluster right there? <laughs> oh, Ronan's he's down. He's dark by rushing. <laughs> <laughs> we have a tweet from Bose coming in. The hype is real. Hashtag dead man. Yeah, only minutes now away from hopefully finding the, uh, the final winner. Yeah. Looks the like, is this literally... Is anyone attacking oh, each no. other anymore? Is that 44 lit members of Relate remaining? There's no way. No. There's no way they've won by that many players. This I is the whole thing about Elkhart Gate again, when Rot just one, took it by storm. Dude, one of the predictions that I made that I was really, really confident on was because this small square is so, you know, it's, it's so small, it can be an absolute cluster yeah. fest of barrages and chin chompers. I was saying that there's Wait. a lot greater scope for a solo player to take this. Sorry. I did not expect this. They're spamming easy, baby. They're spamming Rot? Why are they spamming Rot in the is northwest? And why are they spamming Lit in the southeast? Is that two different clans that are now going to do a one versus one? No, surely not. They're saying if hashtag that happens, rot. that would be. A Wait, what? Is this rot? I'm so confused. I know that a lot of the rot members did change their names to Lit to yeah. try and disguise themselves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if that's the case, then that, then wow, like unbelievable. I'm, pr I'm pretty sure it's Lit. I'll be honest now. I'm pretty sure it's Lit. It's impossible to say at this point. We I, don't think, I think they're going for the final KO. We need KO. the intel. <laughs> I think they're going for the final KO right now. Everyone's got their uh, redemptions up. Get shin down. Wow. Yeah. Taking themselves down right they're here. It's been a good run, boys, they said. Rip. Easy. Oh, wow. The cockiness. Yeah. The arrogance coming through there. It is rot. It is rot that have won. What? That wow. goes to show then. That da I was convinced the whole way through that it was lit. So was I. That, that definitely goes to show that the experience of rot here does just outweigh the, it outweighs the numbers, you know? We, we honestly have no idea right now. It looks like it is Rot, because why would Lit be spamming hashtag Rot when they literally hate each other? They might be trolling. <laughs> I, <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know. I mean, I, I'm kind of, uh, although, although it's not the popular thing to say, and I'm kind of hoping it is Rot. <laughs> oh, really? Just because they were sort of the underdog in this. Lit won last time, they had a lot fewer members, and uh, we've been sat here for the past five minutes, you know, talking up Lit, saying how many, how many Lit members are left, and then bam, plot twist, it's Rot. That'd be pretty cool. I like that. It, it is Rot. I believe Anonymous, that guy there, I recognize his name, and I believe he is Rot. So I, I think I can confirm here that Rot may have taken the uh, the season dead man. I mean, yeah, we'll, ha we'll have to wait. Give it five minutes or so when we get the... Uh we get the announcement from the adjudicators, and uh, we can see who so the actual winner is. So we have confirmation. Who do you think it is, Elliot? I think it's Rot. You'd be right. It is Rot that are left with 40-plus players. They disguise themselves so well. That they, was an unbelievable play. They had nearly three times yeah. less players. Oh yeah. oh, yeah. And I think the reason why they changed names to Lit, really smart decision. A lot of the other clans had alliance with Lit because they wanted to take out Rot first. Yeah. Having their names as lit, nobody targeted them. If they saw Rot, they'd be like, right, I'm taking that guy down right now. We want to take care of Rot. We dislike them. But no, that was strategy was just have insane you, Have play. you noticed that the last, so the, the last tournament lit one, 
that was more of like uh, you know we didn't know it came down to a it, it came down to a number count how many yeah. kills this person had because there were multiple people alive uh, that were of opposing clans both times I've casted and I've seen Rot win it's been absolute annihilation there's been so many players left and like again he's just de-geared wow that is that is unreal the mole pest well no please that's such a cute pet, pet. Uh, oh my god right here you know an emphatic display by Rot being able to do so, that and, Rot sh Nico. and showing how dominant they are yeah and Rot Nico was the last winner by the way I believe Rot from, wins uh, again from last time, it so was, yeah. congrats to him. I don't know what I'm going to do the prize money, but it's $20,000 this time round. So fair play to him and congratulations to Rot. The last hit right now, finish with the ball. This should be the one. There 10 J go. Cup rings, three demo tournaments. RS Rot, he says as he dies. Congratulations to Rot Nico. We can see uh, a silent. <laughs> wow. That was incredible. What an incredible finale. So much to say. First, quick reactions before we jump into highlights from that from that final hour there. In fact, it was a bit short, wasn't it? I'm looking at was that forty five minutes? Did it actually yeah. cut short? Now now when, last time. now when everyone asks Chris, how long's the final hour? <laughs> We can say, yeah, 45 minutes, mate. Yeah. I mean, last time, it ended up going past. It was about an hour, 20 minutes, Yeah, I it was believe. a lot longer. Um, and we really just didn't want to kill off everybody and say, okay, yeah, whichever one of you 300 people has the highest kills wins. Yeah. That ended up going down to a bit more uh, of an intense finale, but I think it was like a dozen people left. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I, I'm still absolutely shocked at the plot twist there. Oh, yeah. You know, we, Ian and I thought that that was lit the whole time. There were all those name changes it and stuff. It was lit. We were like, yeah. that's lit, it's lit, it's lit. Yeah, it was, it was lit, the... Uh, Playing on the ambiguity <laughs> of the word, yeah. Yeah, I like that. I could not believe that. You, you kept on saying, like, I think that's right, I think that's right. I'm like, no, I don't believe you. I, no. I definitely don't yeah, believe same. you. Yeah, I and thought it was lit trolling. <laughs> But not only that, but they, they won by such a vast amount of players again, showing how the sheer you know power of Rot and their ability in Clan Man P Gang from doing it for 10 plus years, that experience really paid off. They had, what, yeah. 40 to 50 people, I think, at the end? Yeah, I think back, at the start, they only had the 70. Vengeance, so they didn't lose that many players. How? Really? Sorry, go on. No, no, I mean, the question of how it comes down to it, like, you kind of explain why, while the game was going on, how they managed to get there, but what do you think made them stand out compared to, of course, last season, where they lost to Lit and others? I, so, I, think, they, I think this time round, obviously, like I was saying during the... Uh, during in the actual ensue of the final hour is that Rot perhaps when they'd won previously with such a dominant display of force they won so convincingly they maybe I don't know perhaps ca uh, became a bit complacent there yeah. and they thought you know we're going into this we've got a mindset of it's just you know it's easy we've won and um, they saw a really really strong reaction from other clans teaming up, teaming up and they weren't expecting that this time around they know the competition's there they know they've, uh, they've got to look out for those team and allied forces and uh, they came in uh, was still with a lot fewer players than other teams, but their experience paid off, and that's yeah. incredible. I think for me, their pivotal point, which made them stand out this tournament, was in the past they always, you know, play that defensive role. They get stuck in, take on clans. They're fearless. This time around, they stuck around that northwest corner. They waited very patiently. And they moved in at the right time, yeah. and that gave them the best chance of winning. So uh, yeah, props them for that strategy. Uh, honestly, like my opinion is, it must be down to the calling. I think oh, in, yeah. in other clans, especially where you just kind of say like, not to say that necessarily with the lit, they're like anybody can join. They obviously have requirements, um, but with rot. I'm really curious what that team speak is sounding like. If there's just one guy calling everything out, yeah. everybody listens and responds immediately. How how well instructed is that? It must be incredible. Yeah, it's crazy. There are videos of uh, Rot PK and specifically in Anacol with audio, and uh, you re it's just an incredible display of uh, strategy yeah. and coordination. Not only that, but obviously in that last area, 11 by 11. It's so hard to call out those names and not, you know, take care, take your own players with you, kind of thing. You have to like keep moving around and changing targets, and just go again. Goes to show their, you know, complete experience yeah. and dom dominance in Clan PK. Do you know what that ended? I thought like, wait, what's going on? Is something going wrong? Is it DC? Like, why are they not fighting each other? I could yeah. not believe yeah. that. I'm still absolutely mind blown. Yeah, Mazar, obviously representing Raw on stage, told me that they had around 70 members yeah. in Raw, and uh, I've been informed by Lit members that they had over 200. <laughs> That's and incredible. When, That's when Rot have sev around 70 members and they're winning with 44 of them remaining, yeah. that goes to show that, wow. Yeah, great job. Yeah. Well, they are now $20,000 richer. Um, I think we have some highlights to actually go through. What was like the main highlight from you guys for that entire final hour? Oh, gosh. I, just, um, I, I think, think that just the ending, like seeing the whole twist, the plot twist, when we saw that it wasn't lit that won and it was Rot, that was just... 
yeah. mind blown, literally. Yeah. Can I, can I, can I, uh, I just want to say everyone going across the stepping stones and just falling in. Oh, man, just that, the was, yeah, that, that was brilliant. Was so that was pretty funny. awesome. But you know, so for the in-game MVP, which is decided by our judges, I wish they could pick the guy who died on those stepping stones, but, um. <laughs> it was a duck. Mm. It was a duck. It was a duck. It was a duck that died. Oh, that okay, makes the sense. The duck is the in-game MVP. <laughs> <laughs> the duck gets the in-game MVP. We were getting so excited yeah, laughing. Oh, that was, was the spec. Oh, that was a sick replay. That was the bicep, Big bicep spec, that I believe. That was awesome. Yeah. yeah, that was nice. And then, well, yeah. We just back at the end I just, as well. I just really liked and was surprised how it went from zero to 100. <laughs> you know, it went really from no one being in that final area, and then just everyone was there. And there was just like 200 people dead in about five seconds. What do you think of You Never Learn winning as well? I mean, yeah, fair play. I'm not... I'm not too sure how um, a couple of the others did end up dying, but he uh, he had his concentration face on. At the start, I thought he was going to be one of the first to die because he was getting really worked in the bank in East yeah. Barrock. And when the, uh, the final, you know, in, in the, the final ensued and Rot took it, like we say, for 40 plus people, Rot Nico winning, just outstanding performance by Rot again. Commiserations to them. They, they did really, really, really well. Yeah. Obviously, absolutely. technically, as Rot Nico won, he's the first player to win it. The dead, dead man twice, of course, yeah. he won season three, oh, I yeah, believe it was, because he won Al Karit. Yeah. So, technically, he is the first person to win it twice as well. So, something to keep in mind there. But I think, uh, without further ado, Chris is on stage with uh, our four players. Of course, uh, you never learn winning the $5,000 bonus. Uh, he's going to have quite a lot to say, I imagine. Chris, take it away. Hey guys, we're joined here with our four players on stage. Right off the bat, let's get a congratulations for you never learn taking the on stage MVP. $5,000. So, you never learn. First of all, how did you stay alive for so long, and what do you plan on doing with the money? Well, it was kind of scary at first because some guy named Ice Cream started barraging me in the bank and trying to tank fight me. So I was like, I'm just going to stay in the bank and, you know, get, grab some sharks to survive or whatever. I'm not trying to fight anyone. I'm a bad PK or if anyone's ever fought against me, they know that. So, um, no, I just, um, as soon as we got all to the final area, I just started eating or uh, sipping the bruise as much as I could. And I kind of went into survivalist mode. I didn't really think I was going to win today, but as soon as you guys said the 5K prize, uh, switch in my head just flipped and I decided to go for the 5k prize instead so you got to play the odds so I decide when you get back I'll treat you to Denny's hopefully we don't get a fire extinguisher on our face this time <laughs> all right uh needless to say you're probably going to participate in the next season do you think you'll do so well again I mean we'll see all I can do is train up my defense as high as I can my magic as high as I can and just kind of hope for the best so well, well done and congratulations again. Alfie, you had an incredible display of uh, entertainment on the stage. You had the audience going. You were, you were just shouting all the time and killing everybody. You were quite ruthless, yeah. What was that final hour like for you? Oh, the final hour started out a lot of fun. I probably killed like four or five people and then and then I met up with the clan and I'm just like, okay, you know what? I'm actually gonna try to go far this time. I'm not gonna teleport to Lumbridge this time. I'm not gonna die to a 96. So I decided to team up with the clan, and then the second we got into the final area, I got barraged and chinned instantly, and I couldn't use a single brew, and I died. Any, um, any changes you're looking to make before the next season? Um, the next season, because of the XP cap, I'm probably going to go for a ranged mage rush. So I want to do the underground pass again, because Ivan Blast is really strong, especially with the XP caps. Um, and then I'm probably going to try to go PKing as soon as possible, because that's, that's what Devin was all about. It's a lot of fun. Well, again, the next season ends uh, with the uh, Ottoman... Autumn Invitation at RuneFest, yeah, September 23rd, and you're obviously be playing on stage for that, so looking forward to that. And again, best of luck the next season. Graphist, <laughs> I don't want to do this. You died first, what happened? I tried hard, and... <laughs> and we got some kills, and then I got pushed to multi by Angry D Bolter. He was like a 116 with a D fire shield and everything, and I got frozen right at multi and just piled and wrecked. You did put on a nice little display of skill there. Um, we, we highlighted a couple of your kills, I believe. So, um, yeah, what was the plan there? You, you were just going aggressively, I killing was everything. Going to whoever I found, attacked, and then, like, they were not in team speak, so I couldn't, like, talk to the team to see where everyone was. And then I saw the team running everywhere. I'm like, what, the, like, what am I doing? And then, yeah, that's it. I just died. Well, you, you did well, at least. We appreciate the entertainment. Um, any changes for the next season? Um, rush. <laughs> Use Discord. Um, yeah, basically just probably rush range mage since the XP cap is going to be interesting. Whole bunch of PKing. No delay streams with PKing as well with the, since you have to skull to attack people, since they'll be stream sniping themselves if they do skull. So it'll be interesting to see how this season pans out.
Yeah. Well, all right. Well, thanks again. And uh, good luck in the next season. Mazar, being on the winning team, the only member of Rod on stage, you were kind of the favorite to make it the farthest. You actually died a little earlier. Well, you weren't the last alive. What happened? My client bugged out. You, I posted a clip of it on Twitter, but that doesn't matter because we still won. So, yeah. yeah. What's, uh, were you in the TeamSpeak for it? Were they flipping out or? I was listening to the TeamSpeak on my phone. Yeah. And uh, yeah, they, it was pretty interesting how they decided to go about it because they knew 70 versus 200, they were not going to win. And they decided to change their name to Lit. So Lit had no idea what to do because we had the same team capes. Them. As to them, we were the same exact people. And we used that to kill everyone else. So Lit helped us kill everyone else, and then we killed Lit. And that's pretty much what happened. A brilliant strategy. Very, very well played. I appreciate the mind games. Well, guys, well, thank you for your time. I appreciate you guys coming to play on the stage for us, and best of luck in the next season. Throwing things back over to Mod Shawnee on the couch. What about that tactic? There you go, we're dressed in full there. That was pretty awesome to hear. Yeah, that's really impressive. Uh, I didn't realize, obviously, we, Ian and I didn't know that it was lit, but having changed the names and got the same team capes, utilizing the numbers in lit to, to eliminate <laughs> to other enemies, yeah. and then turning on them, thinking that they were part of the same team. That's, that's mad. Yeah, yeah. that's just funny. A, just a note <laughs> on the, uh, the other guys as well. Graphics, we talked about. Chris, you said that he uh, had a little display of you know energy there, kind of going for some kills and such. And just say props to him as well and to Alfie for going out there because they're not predominantly they are PKers, but they don't do much hybriding or NH hybriding, you know, with magic switches and such. And yeah. they performed really well today. So again, kudos to them as well for for getting into the action, doing yeah. some PK. Wonderful performance by everyone on stage. Yeah, I think definitely. Today. And I think we can get a round of applause for everyone. Yeah. Well. So guys, we saw the winner of the on-stage MVP being you never learn. He took he's taken away five grand. Yeah. Uh, incredible achievement. We do have two other awards to hand out. The other one being a five grand reward. Um, going to the in-game MVP, and I have got the name. Any guesses? We know. I mean, so. we we've, oh, you we've, know. we've oh, been no. told <laughs> in here, Chris. So uh, shout it out, people. It, it's drink? time, guys. We're gonna announce the in-game <laughs> MVP, the winner of the five thousand dollars, being Big Bicep. Congratulations. Woo! Yeah, that was an insane performance. He went in for the 28-29 spec, I believe it was, and the 26-27. Not only that, but he was sitting only like a few steps away from Ross. A really brave maneuver there to actually go into that danger zone and um, to pick up a few people, get yeah. a few kills. So the really, the really uh, decisive element here being that he had 15 kills. He oh, was really? just running around killing really? oh, wow. everybody in the game. Not only that, but he made it to the top 50 as well, so he lost yeah. an absolutely as, insane amount yeah, of time. As a solo player, that's impressive. That's really good. Truly yeah. deserving of that in-game MVP, without a doubt. Yeah. So well mm -hmm. done, Big Bicep. And I really enjoy his content on YouTube, actually. He's yeah. going to make some great Dead Man content coming forward. Yeah, definitely. definitely. That being said, guys, there is one award left to hand out. We already saw it. We know who it is. It is Anonymous of Rot winning the $20,000. <laughs> Woo! Another mouse, another boost. Another mouse. Yeah. Hey. And that I appreciate it. In uh, the previous demo mode, it's Rot Nico with the name change. So, yeah, okay. He's now won two dead man modes on the first player to win two invitationals. Yeah. So yeah, he's uh, Ross ecstatic. Sure incredible. Yeah. I, I, I'm really curious whose decision it was to make that kind of the, like the mind game decision of saying we're gonna act like lit. Like whose decision was that? Because all of the credit should go to them. That I'd was imagine so that smart. I'd imagine the leadership. Yeah, very and smart. They've been in the in the cunning scene, like I say, for for ten plus years now. So that kind of tactic has probably been used before. Uh, just wasn't expected by Lit, obviously caught them offhand there, and yeah. yeah, congratulations. And you know what's what's an interesting talking point is Rot uh, are kind of becoming a bit more of the fan favorites, I believe. Mm -hmm. um, I remember when they won back in Al Karid, the crowd actually kind of booed. They did boo. They were not yeah. happy. They were <laughs> like, ah, oh, damn, I didn't want those guys to win. Yeah. Over here we see some love for Rot, it's nice to see. Do you American think things are change, changing for them? I think they're growing on everyone, you know? Mm. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Well, they used to be the, you know, the dominant force that just out played everyone and now they're a smaller clan. Well, they're not smaller, but they're comparatively to like Lit and other large uh, clans like that. Obviously, in the hometown of Rot, most of them are American players, so no, no surprises there about the crowd being slack about them. But uh, yeah, congrats I again. Think it's, uh, I think it's a case where, you know, when you watch sports or esports or whatever, when there's that team that just win everything and mm -hmm. you sit down, you watch a tournament and you go, well, oh, they're going to win again. It's like, regardless <laughs> of who you support, you always go against that team because it's just you don't want to see the same thing. Yep. But then we saw a change where, you know, Rod had lost um, against Lit and now they're back. And, 
yeah, it's, 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 although they're winning again, it's fresh. So now we're at the conclusion, of course, of this season. Uh, we can now announce that the new worlds are now open for our new season. We're going to talk about uh, this upcoming season and what you can expect. And if you want to get involved, we have the summer special ongoing right now. We can get free months of membership for two just behind us, in <laughs> fact. You can see everyone agility training <laughs> as they get off to the running on the, uh, the Dead Man season. There they are, right there, off and going. So uh, should we use this as a chance to talk about what uh, people can expect with this new season? Yeah, yeah so I think, um, I think it's... <laughs> Sorry, it, Chris. Most people know now uh, we invited many of you guys, actually, some of the biggest content creators and Deadman players over to our offices in the UK and we said you guys know Deadman best what do you want for the next season I think it was great you know we had everyone that come in and we've seen some real radical changes to this season more radical than we've seen before and uh, these changes are hopefully put in place to uh, protect the longevity of yeah. the game we want players starting on day one and Playing still the being there on day 30. And for me, the best change that you know will, will hopefully lead to that is the uh, unsculled players, no experience lost. You still lose your bank, obviously, for the bank key, but you can you know start up again and rebuild quite easily. Dying and having to get your stats back is just so frustrating. Yep. Not only that, but the one mil experience per day cap. So people that play 20 hours a day, potentially, like they've done in this tournament, can't get so far ahead. More casual players, like myself, actually, on my way for the next 10 yeah, days, you know, we can come back and join we, whenever you we want. We can't just you know, flip out a laptop and start doing agility <laughs> yeah, with right those now. guys right now. <laughs> so. Uh, it gives us a chance as well as you know as broadcasters or whatever to come home and catch up We'll have like a few days where that that XP actually ticks over So although it's a one mil cap every day if you don't play for three days You get three mil XP that you can do on that day. Well, yeah, and you start to gain it, but yeah Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you don't just get it. Yeah. You have to gain it But um, as well if you do die uh, say you have like 80 strength 80 range mm -hmm. or something like that You lose a few levels if you're scold if you're scold. Yeah when you rebuild um, your rebuild XP rate until you get back to the current XP you were prior to losing it will mm -hmm. be 50 times. So that will encourage people to continue yeah, playing. Yeah, no, definitely. And yeah. Go on. I, th I think definitely, like, for me personally as a player, I'll be actually t able to play this next season. Mm -hmm. um, previously, I haven't really been able to because I do work a full-time job, and it's kind of like, ah, oh, I've already missed out on so much. Can I play catch-up? Can I actually mm -hmm. afford to, to no life it tonight? I've got to get up early for work. And, you know, um, now with this new season, we really appeal to those people who do have jobs or go to school or anything or just don't want to play for 20 hours a day. <laughs> yeah. That being said, if you still do want to play for obnoxious hours, as we heard, you never learn. As soon as he flew in, we shook his hand. He pulled out the laptop he was playing. Yeah. yeah. Right? And the, those guys will lobby. still thrive without mm -hmm. a doubt. Yeah, definitely. And, uh, you know, it's just going to be great. And having so many more people being able to come into the game because, like yeah. you said, you feel like you, you can't play. You and know? you can, you can also, the main thing about demo mode is that PvP aspect. You know, people can go PK and have to like, always be on the back burner trying to catch up. They mm -hmm. just go out there, have some fun, kill, get some kills. And if they die, they have 50 times experience catch up to get yeah. the levels back that they lose. Once, so once it's awesome. you hit that 1 mil XP cap, what do you do? You, yeah. go PK. you go PK. We're going to see so <laughs> much more player versus player interactions, which is what I love about Dead Man Mode and what a lot of people love yeah. as well. I think it'll be the best season we've seen by far. It's a shame that I have to start 10 <laughs> days late. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of tips would you give for anyone? Obviously, you know, people watching this might want to get involved who've never played it before. What kind of tips straight Tip? off the bat would you give uh, them? Well, right now I can see on the main screen there's a bunch of people killing each other <laughs> in Barbarian Village, so be very careful where you go. Obviously, it's dangerous yeah. everywhere. Turn off your left click as you log in so you don't accidentally misclick oh on someone and skull yeah. and die <laughs> as Defi you did before. Yeah, definitely turn off your left click when you start. And... Um, I don't know. It's because of the XP caps. Personally, the route I'm going to be going down is range and yep. magic. You know, obviously there are increased levels for um, strength and attack that you can gain. So people, one of the criticisms was like, you know, you, this guy can have like 90 plus strength, and I'll be here with this range level. The strength guy can hit this, and it's mm -hmm. like, well, you know, I have I have slightly lower levels in range and magic. But I can freeze you, and you're not going to be able to spec yeah, me. Yeah, exactly. I, I can stand one diagonal square away from yeah. you, and you yeah. can't do anything. I'd say just you know stick to what you know. If you if you played old school in the past, you want to give it another go again. Five times experience, experience rates, you can you know get stuck in and really enjoy yourself. The un, the the non combat skills actually don't have a one mil XP cap, so you can go do fletching in the bank if you want. You can go woodcut for a bit, make some money, and just have fun. And I think that's the most important part of demo mode. If you're not a PVPer. Just get stuck in and play RuneScape for, and, for what it is. And that's another dynamic that we're going to see change as well, because P um, Dead Man mode is not just a player versus player killing people game mode. It's also a survival game mode. Yeah. And this is something that was brought up in the Jagex office. You know, People like playing this for the notion that they can survive for the longest exactly. as well. Not everyone likes to engage in PvP. They do like to engage in skill, and they can use it as a money-making method. And if players are being killed that are unscold, whereas previously they'd be losing everything and losing all their XP, mm -hmm. they don't lose their XP anymore. So they're, you know, they can they can continue playing for the and rest rebuild, of the season. Yeah. And Definitely. Rebuild. Well, guys, 
I think we're, we're just about at the time to conclude. It's been an incredible final hour. We saw the on-stage MVP, you never learn, taking home five grand. Big Bias at the in-game MVP, taking home another five grand. And then Rot Nico taking $20,000, yeah. winning the Dead Man Summer Invitational. Really looking forward to the next season. Any final thoughts, guys? Uh, just thank you for having us yeah. ESL in your American Studios. Cheers to the audience for being here today. The audience has been fantastic. Yeah, they've been, been awesome. That's for me, that's been the highlight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and um, as well as Jagex for flying us over. <laughs> oh my. But yeah, thank you guys everyone at home as well for watching. Really appreciate that. All right. Jesus. Well, that concludes the Dead Man Summer Invitational. Well, thanks for watching and we'll see you next season. Thank you.